Okay, so let's look at the math worksheets. Sorry, the lighting is weird now because it's late in the day. But okay. So these are the ones you, that you will have to do. Mm. You need to read the scale. Now, <clears throat> when you do this work today, I want you to keep in mind, hold on a second for me. Okay, so when you do this work today, I want you to think of number lines, when we did number lines, and when we counted in multiples, like counting in twos, counting in threes, counting in fives, whatever it is that we require you to count in. For example, this one shows me a hundred. This tells me that it's grams, but this shows me a hundred. Now, I need to go figure out how much does each one of those little lines <clears throat> count for. So... I go and I say, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. No, that does not make sense. Let's try the next one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, a hundred. Nope, does not make sense. Let's try counting in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 100. Nope, doesn't make sense. Let's try counting in 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Perfect. So now we know that each one of these little lines represent 10. Okay? And the fact that the arrow is pointing to this one tells me that's 50. Okay? So what is the weight shown? 50 grams. If we look at the next one, keep in mind, the arrow has gone all the way around to 800 and past it. So it's gone past 800 to this little line. This little line represents 10. So 810 grams. Last one I'm going to leave for you to do by yourself. Good. Let's do the next one. On this page, you will have to draw the arrow. So they say, show one kilogram and 60 grams. Luckily, they give you one kilogram and 60 grams, they say. Now, we know each little line represents 10. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So, from the middle to that one will give me one kilograms and 60 grams. Go draw the pointers for the other two. Good. Then. This one the kids seem to struggle with the most. But to be honest with you, I don't understand it. Because it's, according to me, it's just a normal number line. Forget the fact that it's grams. It's just a normal number line. This one. We must first check how much must we count in. Zero, one, two, three, four, ten. No, it doesn't make sense. Next one. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes. So each little line is a two, four, six, eight. So we now know this is eight grams. If we look at B, counting in twos, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 22 grams. And I want you to carry on with that. This one, I'm going to gi give you the answer. You will be counting in 50s. 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Carry on that way. This one, you will be counting in 25s. 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. 125, 150. 175, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300, and so forth. And then go find the value of the little lines. Good. And then on the last two pages, uh, 
the thing that I want you to keep in mind is if I make my houses, my units, my tens, my hundreds and my thousands, as soon as they give you a number in grams and you have something to write in the thousands column, it will immediately be, for example, let's say 6,000 grams, immediately I know this six is a kilogram because 1,000 grams is the same as one kilogram. So as soon as you have something to write in the thousands house, it is kilograms. Okay, whatever comes afterwards is grams. Okay, so keep that in mind. So three kilograms is 3,000 grams. Four kilogram is 4,000 grams. What you'll have to do, three kilogram equals 3,000 grams. So that means that 3,000 grams equals three kilograms. You just have to show me that it works the same both ways. And then you can do the last worksheet by yourself as well. Good. That is your maths, your five worksheets. Do all five of them and then you are finished with maths for the week.